They, they were talking about Brett. This guy was upset that Brett Kavanaugh is going to overturn Roe versus Wade. Okay. Yeah. And it's interesting, upset about that he wasn't doing enough for gun control and then shows up with guns to kill him. Exactly. So, again, cuckoo people do cuckoo things. Okay. The point is, I think your point and I, the point I would agree with is the New York Times buried this. Yeah, it was like if a this tiny had been thing a, below the fold. If this had been a liberal Supreme Court justice that someone came to kill, it would, have been on the, it would have been on the front page. And that's what's so disappointing about a paper like the New York Times. Because they just wear their bias on their sleeves. And they, if it's not part of something that feeds our narrative, fuck it. And there are protests it. in front of Amy Coney Barrett's house, where we all know there are seven children inside. There are protests in front of all the conservative justice or all the constitutionalist justices' homes. Listen, protesting is a part of democracy. It's our right. But when right. it turns deadly, when people are threatening justices' lives, I want to have, to have protection Every single senator voted in favor of the actual protection, and it's stuck in the House. This is the kind of thing that drives America crazy when Washington can't do something as simple as pass the law that we should all well, agree with just to beef up their security. This is this is right on the merits they should pass this law. I, I, I think inflation is the number one thing people are focused on. I don't think this is a huge... You mean not January 6th? No, I, no I, I think January 6th is important. I, I agree. It's not, it is not going to be a dominant issue in the election campaign. I agree that it's that's still too. important. It doesn't mean it shouldn't right. be. But I think, uh, as for, uh, I, you know, we also had Steve Scalise, the, the, uh, then huh. the Republican uh, majority was, four was, years was ago shot this week. four years ago to baseball practice by a, by a politically yes. disgruntled man. Yes. I, I do worry about this, and I think it's related to the perception that a lot of Americans have where they, they, they don't think these institutions are legitimate anymore, and that creates the willingness that certain nutty people have to go and try to take, the, take matters into their own hands and shoot people. And I think, that's, I think it's a really worrying trend in our, in our politics. And I, and I agree, it's not, it's not so, solely limited to one side of the I'm aisle. So, the I'm so um, offended, though, that they say Ruth sent us. They, they say they're doing this on behalf of the late Justice the protesters, Ruth I mean. Bader Ginsburg. The protesters are part of, quote, Ruth sent us. She would never would have condoned that of kind course. of violence. I agree. One of her best friends was Justice yeah. Antonin Scalia.